Next thing I want to do is basically hit the API and get all of the movies. So what we're going to do now is basically before we start accessing that API, what we want to do is basically have the ability to put the environment variable safe. And for that, we are going to install a package and that package is called dot env webpack. So I'm going to say npm install dot env webpack d as dev dependency. So this is the dot env package and I'm going to show you in a moment what it does and how, how things work. First thing you'll do is go to webpack config and you're going to take this and pull it on top dot env package and then you're going to inside of plugins you put new dot env. So this is a plugin dot env and you also need to create a dot env file this is where we will put our api key i'm going to place mine in a moment I'm, i won't be able to show you that but you know you get the idea Dave. so if you want to get the api key you can head over to developers dot theme movie db dot org high slash three and this is the place you can get the API key from. Okay, uh, you should also create an environment example file. So I'll say dot env example. And this is the URL where you need to get the key from. And make sure you create the git ignore file dot git ignore and place the dot env inside of this dot idea folder etc node modules okay that's going to contain your sensitive information so i've already put my api key uh, into the dot env file which is great next thing i want to do is basically add some configuration uh, inside of the dot env file we need to give it an object and inside of this we need to define the path dot env and system bars to true all right so you've got the dot env so it's going to take the whatever you put inside of the env file whatever api key you put it's going to take that and it's going to make that available in process dot env dot whatever you name it as so in this case process dot env dot api key and then I can use this API key basically to make uh, any requests for, for security purposes. This is great. All right, perfect. So now what we're going to do is go to components and we're going to create a directory and we'll call it as movies. And inside of this, I will create index.js. I'll say import react from react. Const, const movies, export default movies. Inside of this, I'm going to return a div. Make sure to include movies inside of your homepage. So I'm going to say movies. Okay. So go back and check. You have hello coming from movies. Okay, great. And the next, I want to install Axios because I want to make a request. You can also use fetch, but I'm using Axios. I just like it. So npm install Axios. Uh, then I'm going to import Axios from Axios over here. Then I'm going to create a state and let's say movies, set movies equals use state. It's already pulled it on top. Initially, it will be an empty array. Similarly, I'll create another one and I will name it as loading, set loading. That's for loading till the time request is being made. Okay, initially it's set to false. Then I'm going to use the use effect. Notice it's pulled on top. Inside of that, it accepts a function. Second parameter is an empty array so that it's only called once uh, for the initial render. Then I'm going to do set loading to true initially before making the request so that user understands that request is being made. And then I'm going to 
use axios so i'm going to paste this here so it's basically only this much code i pasted which is basically axios.get so then is going to make a request to this api configuration it is going to pass the query params popularity uh, in descending order api key and remember i said that api key will automatically be available what you put in your env file then we are setting the loading to false in both cases whether it's an error or it's uh, success and then we're using set movies which is this to basically set the response and the result okay so now you just need to restart the development server I think okay and check the network tab you can see that this request has been made and you've got the result so basically we've got all of the data for the movies which is great okay great now all we have to do is just loop through it so you're gonna say if not loading not loading and movies dot length so remember that we are setting the value of the movies using the set movies right we're setting the state and we are putting the data inside of it the results is basically this one this results so we're checking movies.length, which means if this has got the value and if it's not loading, then movies.map. And I'm going to say movie, comma, index. And we're going to need another component called movie. So I'll say movie. And I'm just going to copy paste, remove layout, call it movie. Okay, close it. And then this is going to be movie component. Oops. And it's going to take a prop called movie. And I'm going to pass the movie that's been passed from here. Uh, and then if that is not so, then it's going to be just a H2 saying loading. Okay, let me break it down so it's easy for you to read. So this is the condition. If it's true, then do this. Otherwise, if it's false, just show loading. If it's true, then map through the array and uh, render this component each time, every time with a new value of the movie. And this is going to take a key because in React, we should make sure we put a key when we are looping through it, when we are mapping through it. So this is going to be movie.id. If id is not available, then just use index. So do we have id available? Let's see. I'm going to click on that result. Yep, ID is available, which is great. Awesome. Now coming back to the movie component. So I'm going to paste uh, a bunch of code into the movie. Uh, but before that, I just want to show it to you that this is going to have movie available inside of it, which means each of these uh, response result, each of these result. Okay. So I'm going to paste a bunch of code here, which is basically just a div, another div, figure, uh, and then image. Uh, this is this is the image URL where the images are going to be available, but each image will be having a different path, uh, the ending path, and that's why it's going to be dynamic. So if you notice that backdrop path is different for each of the movie, See, it's different, right? And that's the backdrop path that will be replaced over here. So full path and then the backdrop path. So try this out. Oops. So if you take this, put it here, and then take that backdrop JPEG dot JPEG. See, you've got this image, beautiful image, Lucifer, right? I haven't watched this, but uh, I guess it must be good. Okay, cool. So you've got that, and then you've got air date. So 
aired it when when it was first aired which year and date etc then you have the voting so you've got the vote average 8.5 so vote average movie name and overview so you've got overview and the name movie.name okay so we're just fetching all of the data here and once we do that let's go back on to the front end congratulations you can see that all of the movies are being rendered each of the components is being rendered so if you do an inspect element so i'm going to close everything show it to you from the beginning source pages home page got the layout already explained that go to movies what do we have in movies we have the div with the flex this one then you have the movie each of these element has this right so if you check each of these has this open one of them one of them mba text white this one overflow hidden you've got the image image url each time the path the backdrop path has changed you've got alt and then this one date rating date average vote movie name h2 movie name movie overview overview okay cool so you get the idea so that's been looped through and we've got all of the beautiful design and beautiful netflix kind of thing yep awesome congratulations we just built the entire react application now it's going to be fun to work with the pwa in the next episode all right so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye